Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 14th of 2022. Well, it is titled Waves of the Great Lacerta Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see one of the largest nebulae in the sky and not a very well known one. And it's almost because it is too large to really be able to be seen well. So in fact, with a telescope or binoculars, it is very faint and hard to see uh, because it is so faint. But it's also so big that even larger telescopes, it is such a big size that a large telescope cannot see the entire nebula at once. Telescopes are really good at picking up a small field of view, but not something like this, which can extend several degrees in the sky. So it's a really hard one to be able to get. You need a nice long exposure to be able to pick up something like this, to be able to see this nebula. Now, this is an example of an emission nebula. An emission nebula occurs when light from hot stars and we can see several hot blue stars scattered in here and with those stars emit they look blue to us but actually most of the light that they emit is in the infrared sorry in the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum ultraviolet is higher energy than visible light and is more energetic and it serves to ionize the gas around it so uh, ultraviolet radiation will strip electrons off the atoms and in this case we're looking at hydrogen atoms and hydrogen atoms are the most common in the universe making up about 90 percent of all atoms in the universe are hydrogen so when they are excited the electrons get ripped off and then they will recombine giving us all sorts of different energy levels as they drop back through and in the visible portion of the spectrum that part of the electromagnetic spectrum that our eyes are sensitive to they give off a distinct red color of light so we see that red color is associated with hydrogen gas but it does take again this is a very faint nebula very faint nebula very hard to see uh, simply because it is too faint to see with wide field devices simply because it does not give off enough light and it is hard to see with telescopes which can collect more light because it is so large covers such a large area of the sky so it is one of the more difficult nebulae to be able to view today we get a beautiful image of it showing that excitation and glow of hydrogen gas so that was our picture of the day for September 14th of 2022 it was titled waves of the great Lacerta nebula we'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture so until then have a great day everyone and I will see you in class